5,460 pounds as you see it built here today, which is actually pretty heavily upgraded. A 231 Freedom Express here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is an Asdell ultralight that is excellent for taller people with a bigger ceiling, a longer bed, and a camp kitchen that everybody loves so you can keep the heat from cooking outside. There's a lot of good things about this RV and 100% access to absolutely everything in transit is one of its great qualities. So you look through here, and even with the table up, you could say in the way. I can still walk right through here with a sideways travel trailer two-step. I can get to all of the kitchen. I can get to all of the bathroom. I can even get to all of this handry, uh, handry? <laughs> handy pantry space, removable shelves, by the way. We'll talk about that more in just a minute. And yes, the bathroom door can open, even with the slide closed. Despite this RV not having the largest living room, it doesn't really look or feel small for a couple reasons. The light color palette really opens it up in here. Also, this has a 6 foot 9 interior, which is very, very uncommon in uh, lightweight laminated RVs. Most of the time, they'll go with a little shorter sidewall. Maybe they'll give you a ceiling vault, but they just went straight taller here, and where that's nice is you get a taller ceiling, taller slide, uh, you know, taller shower, more storage. It has a nice cascade effect. If we take a look here at the slide, you see a couple things that uh, this table is free floating and it kicks up for storage. And then down below, there's storage below the entirety of that true long U dinette that we'll see in sleeper mode in a minute. Plus over here, you've got this linen storage or bonus closet because the shelves in there are removable and there is a like clothes hanging rack which I kind of prefer over a hanging rod. I sort of came around on that the last couple years because when you're traveling, if stuff's on a rod, it can slip slide around. If it's on those slotted hanging racks, it ain't going nowhere. One of the things to point out here is you have the ability to upgrade this, which is basically what we do 10 times out of 10 here at Halid RV, with a larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner. It doesn't cost much, and buddy, you're never going to regret having it. Also, just as we uh, back up here, you can see that refrigerator. We typically outfit that with an 8 cubic foot fridge instead of the uh, standard 6 cubic foot as well. Plus, you've got the outside fridge. So we've really got this thing decked out with max cold storage capacity. You don't have to walk in and out to get drinks. It's super, super handy. All of our countertops, whether it's here in the kitchen, that sink cover, the bathroom, the outside kitchen, the dining table, anything. They're all a sealed edge press membrane countertop so that if you spill a drink... Obviously, you want to wipe it up, but it's not going to cause anything to swell up and get damaged as a result. Uh, Freedom Expresses are always ventless flooring, which is just one of those nicer, kind of easy, clean sort of factors. Also, little things I look at as a person who actually goes camping, the fact that the bathroom door actually locks, that is a very underrated feature right there. Now, one of the reasons I want to put this footage together is they re uh, revised the bathroom, and it's not super, like, still photo friendly, but it is very, like, I'm camping and this is great friendly. So, it starts here with a porcelain foot flush stool, but then you see we've got, uh, they, they shrink the shower a little bit. Instead of a 50-inch shower, they went with, like, a 30 by 36-inch shower, which created room for all that extra storage. And when we take a look inside that bathroom cabinet right there, you can see that we've got hidden hinges. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry, by the way, meaning it, it's uh, not stapled together. A little more likely to hold together better long term. And then just little things like a little laundry hamper. It's just the little touches like that that I love. Now with this being 6'9 tall, a big goofball like me who's 6'2 or 6'3, I can stand in this shower without my head being in the bubble. And that is something that I truly appreciate. Uh, the uh, mirrored vanity back here, you can see it's got some good medicine cabinet style storage. And as we back up past that sealed edge counter, I like the open chunk of space right there because it gives you room for like extra body washes or toilet paper and it keeps it out of the way. But you got this big blank wall and you're like, what do, what, what's going on here? That's the camp kitchen. So they couldn't do much with it, but what they did above it is absolutely tremendous. They just didn't let an ounce of space go to waste. And you see, it's like it just keeps going. From the bathroom, you can see that we've got that Central Island Entertainment Center. Thing is, Freedom Express has done a really good one, where a lot of other manufacturers have shied away from that. If we take a look here, you can see it does have sliding pocket privacy doors. Also, we've got those uh, blackout nightshades, and we've got that seven-foot true U-dinette that folds down into a big 
adult size guest sleeping space. That means that everybody gets their own little privacy. So this is a couple's camper that has good guest capacity, not just for grandkids, but uh, you know, maybe you've got tall grandkids or an adult friend or you like to go buddy camping. You know, it can it can handle all that. Obviously, you see that our TV can spin around here. Well, uh, you know, if you want to be able to face that around toward the bedroom, that is one of the nice things about that Island Entertainment Center. And down below, you see a wide open shelf begging you to expand your entertainment. You've got a Bluetooth DVD player there, but you can go a little crazier if you so choose. Big clutter cutting shoe garage right by the door. And as we come over here into the kitchen, you see that there, uh, it, this, this has one of my favorite features. And, and I wish I could see this in more RVs. And that is the utensil drawer. This is hands down the best use of space under a sink I've ever seen. Instead of those nearly, not completely, but nearly worthless sponge drawers, they have something that really extends out. See how it wraps around the sink? And this insert's removable. So if you want to take that outside for picnic time, if you want to uh, take it over the table for serving, you can. You saw the sink cover was in place, so that's flush mount and it expands our prep area. The sealed, uh, pardon me, the sealed edge counter, yes. Also goes hand in hand with the uh, flush mount stove top to really maximize that. You see a nice stainless sink. They went away from stone cast, not because they had problems with it, but because people didn't know what it was. Stone cast looked like plastic, even though it was way, way better. So they said, you know what? Fine, we'll just go to stainless. Everybody knows what stainless is. Problem solved. Look over there at that kitchen breeze window. You see how the shade string actually has an anchor that it ties to? It's classic things like that that I, I look at that and there's a hundred little areas I see in this RV where I go, this was made by someone who actually camps. And that's a recurring trend I have of Freedom Express is time and time again, but it's because it's true. So going past our doors here, one of the things that a lot of people will see or think at least when there's an island entertainment like this, is they'll come around and they'll go, ah, oh, crap, Martha, the bed comes like right up next to this thing. It's not a big deal because this is a longer 80 inch true queen. It's not the short camp queen. So if you're long like me, you're not gonna be just mule kicking the wall all night, which is a good way to disturb your partner and make everybody upset. Household and USB plugs on both sides of the bed, dual mirrored hanging closets with more of those hanging racks, and a full overhead cabinet, not a shelf. You can put stuff on a shelf when you get there, but a cabinet lets you pack for travel, which is nice. They've also added some nice little things, like they used to have like one overhead light here, and, and now they have two. You know, just smart little detail features like that. And oh yeah, by the way, of course, you know, you can spin the TV around, and if you wanted to, you could watch TV from the bedroom. Here in this big pass-through compartment, you can see that aluminum skeleton. Also, you see these couple big black switches right there. This has that, uh, you see the light strip. Just like under the awning, you have a full-length pass-through light strip, which is handier than you realize. And that's one of those good indicators. This is made by people who go camping, not just build campers. There's always a difference. Things like including that outside picnic table. Ever since their 50th anniversary edition, they've been doing that. You got a solar side prep plug right there. Uh, and would you know, you got a big old compartment to be able to hold that. And the magnet latch is making it easier for us to get in and out of this thing. Now, one of the key factors of any Coachman Ultralight, whether it's the Freedom Express or the Apex sister to this you'd find here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, is the abs, uh, abscess. Oh my lord, Asdell substrate. That, uh, that went from awesome to gross. I screwed that up pretty nicely. <laughs> Let me start again. One of the cool parts of this camper is the Asdell use in the sidewalls. It's a Luan swap. It's a, it's a wood panel swap. And what it gives us is a, uh, it's a resin material in the walls. The material itself is lighter weight, cannot rot mold mildew. It's part of the reason this RV is taller inside without being significantly heavier. It offsets a lot of that. Um, now, up front here, we've got our power tongue jack, which is actually an optional piece of equipment on these. Also, note where they put their spare tire. They intentionally put it right up here on the tongue, which leaves the rear bumper wide open. Now, technically, their warranty does not say throw stuff on the bumper. This is built with the intention, though, of leaving that bumper open for folks who want to add a bike rack. You also see that red switch right there. This has a handy battery disconnect as well. This has seal gripping, leak preventing slide walls, so they got a really rough texture to it. And all Freedom Express ultralights, including this 231 right here, will have an enclosed heated belly standard to give you that uh, good sort of extended season protection. So what this means is if it's going to dip below freezing and then come back tomorrow, you're gonna be fine. 
Jumping over behind the slide out, you see first of all, this is wide stance stability axles. And this is one of the shorter RVs in which you'll find that feature, which means this thing tows like a dream. Those do a wonderful job of helping balance out the bouncing and swaying in transit when used in conjunction with proper weight distribution and anti-sway. They're a supplement, not a replacement. You see the centralized hookups all right next to our sewer connection there. Outside shower, separate t uh, cable and satellite hookups, a black tank flush, all the goodies, all in the spot of the RV that makes sense because once again, you can tell that it was made by someone that actually goes camping and doesn't just say, hey, wouldn't it be funny if you know. Um, the uh, backup camera prep on the rear wall here, that's something we can assist you with here at Halid RV. I don't think on a Freedom Express it's even factory available, but I probably wouldn't do it even if it was uh, if I was building this. The reason being, we found that through our parts and service center, you're kind of seeing there in the background, we can add those things for the exact same cost you can get them from the factory. So this way you're only paying for it if you're wanting it, you're not paying extra. Uh, the roof ladder we're looking at is another optional piece of equipment. It gets us up to that walkable roof that we'll see in just a minute. So you can get up there, do your cleaning, your maintenance. I don't recommend getting up there to like hang out and watch a race, but I know people will. So, it, you know, might as well mention it. <laughs> um, over here, this has not the widest, but still fully equipped camp kitchen. I really like what they do here. It gives you the bigger outside fridge. That in conjunction with the fridge inside gives us pretty darn close to 12 cubic foot of total cold storage. And oh, look at that. That's new, that is cute. Coachman Freedom Express right there on your spice rack. That's just a nice little touch. I like the tie in there. Just speaking of tying in, just like the inside, you've got sealed edge countertops outside. And that is a real sink, by the way, with a real drain into a holding tank, not just the dog dish that you throw on the ground and or, you know, at your husband. <laughs> He's not listening, am I right, ladies? Anyway, uh, free floating Coleman Camp Grill. Instead of being locked down to the RV, you can pick this up and take it anywhere you want or throw it at your husband, am I right, ladies? Anyway, uh, the point here is if you don't want to cook right next to the camper, remember that free floating picnic table we saw? You can cook anywhere you want. No sweat. These all now standard have the nice stable steps that was previously available only on Liberty Edition. Thankfully, that's become more widespread available. You also see the handy little uh, TV hookups here. Under the awning, which naturally has lighting, it has a tilt-adjust rain, auto rain dump. Couple things up here on the roof. First of all, you see that white circle hockey puck looking thing? That is going to, uh, that's a basically an attic exhaust vent. So the heat that builds up between the ceiling panel inside and the roof decking outside, it'll let that breathe out. And it does wonders toward keeping your RV cooler. Remember, we also like to build these with that bigger air conditioner we talked about inside. Then this black bucket looking thing, that's our WineGuard Air 360 antenna. So you don't have to crank the antenna up and down. You don't have to accidentally forget that you, uh, you know, left it up and rip it off with a tree branch like the days of yore. Also, you can upgrade that with a handy little uh, LTE widget that'll basically turn it into an LTE receiver and rebroadcast that via Wi-Fi into your RV. Long story short, you can make it mobile data friendly. Now, as you can see, we are swimming in inventory here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. There goes another sold one right now. This stuff rolls out every day. We are a huge volume dealer. And all we do is everything, except for hidden dealer fees. Doesn't matter where you live. If you appreciate what we're doing here at Halet RV, give us a call and we'll get you camping. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.